Bravely! This is the Templar Asterisk, and if I recall, you have, like, excellent stats and everything. Um... Let's see. What are they exactly? I know you have armor. I know you like your armor. BP limit up. Oh, that's right. That's a cool ability. Uh, Holy Arts is the name. You have good vitality. Dexterity is meh. Agility is meh. MP is meh. You like your swords. You like your great swords. Uh, you really like your armor. You have an S in armor. All right. That's cool. Uh, I'm remembering now. Radiant Blast and Giant Slayer were pretty good moves. Anyway. For the first time in my life. I feel no regret or frustration in defeat. Perhaps uh, this is what I had hoped for all along. Father. It is nothing. For being told I might never wield a sword again, this body served me surprisingly well. Now, you must take this. This is the stave of the Grand Marshal of Eternia. He. Nay, she who bears it holds full authority to rule the duchy. Rule Eternia? Me? Yes. You have shown that you possess the strength to cut down your foes, the strength to protect your people, and most of all, the wisdom to know that though you possess both, you need not use either. Go forth and rule in wisdom, Grand Marshal Idia Lee. The future of Eternia, nay, of the world itself, is in your hands. Yes, Father. All right. The Grand Marshal has a staff? When did that happen? My Idia. Hi, hey, Mom. What's going on? Your father and I have decided to move out here to the woods. Seriously? But isn't this the wise one's place? <laughs> it certainly is. Or was. From what we've heard, he hasn't been around here in quite some time. I've been thinking of renaming the place. Brave Lee's Needleworks. What? And say Juliana is okay with this? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. The old sage could never get angry at me. But listen, Idia, I'd like you to have a word with your father. Hmm? About what? Oh, his armor. Even though we're retired and living here in the woods, he refuses to take it off. <laughs> I have grown accustomed to the proper ballast it provides. If I took it off, the next stiff breeze might carry me clear into the sky. I think I'll stay as I am, for now. The full metal seamster, huh? <laughs> That's gotta be a first. Sir, the delivery you asked for- Alternus. Alternus, I've been waiting for you. Fabric and thread just as you asked. If you exhaust your supply, simply say the word and I shall procure more. Thank you, Alternus. You're always so helpful. And what of the other items I requested? I have brought them, sir, but are these truly what you were looking for? Patchwork for prentices. 100 embroidery patterns for spring and summer. Yes, these are perfect. You're really serious about this needlework stuff, huh? Of course. Have you ever known your father not to be serious? For my first project, I believe I shall make you a quilted vest. I did not know those existed. Then again. Noble Tsuna hinted that he wanted a new tea cozy, and I promised to knit Alternus a woolen scarf. Before that, the armor. Isn't it like the, the Templar has low dexterity? Knitting requires dexterity. If you would just take that armor off, I'm sure your dexterity stat would go up. Alright, enough running laps around. There are three hidden items in here. Do I need to take a nap? I need to take a nap. I need to take a nap. Alright. I don't know what the difference between, like, sleeping till nightfall is or whatever, but... I don't know if there's gonna be, like, a, a, a cutscene that plays. If I were to, to do that, as opposed to just being healed. I got healed. Let's see what this does. This is probably... Am I gonna see, like, a, a cutscene or something play? 
No, it just changed the time of day. Alright, anyway, what about these inspect prompts? The inspect prompts. Anything? Nothing? No, I don't really want to speak. Star Corslet. Somebody's laundry. I saw one over here. Oh, that was, uh... That's probably just the bed, then. Okay. Where are the items? Oh, hey, it's a Yip Yip. Hello, Yip Yip. Or are you just here? Okay, so we are going to see a tent event. The magic tent. Dinner is served. Finally! I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Mmm, it's so tender. This is divine. It's like a little symphony playing in my mouth with every bite. You simply must tell me, Tiz, what is this masterpiece? Uh, meat? Hey, come on, Tiz. Magnolia is asking a serious question. Uh, sorry. How about roasted wild boar with blueberry sauce? The boar shoulder Carl gave us has really aged well. What's the sweet and sour flavor? That's blueberry jam. We had some in the stores, so I used it as a rub for the roast. Oh, right, the stuff I bought but never used. And what's this on the side? This warm risotto-like stuff. Rice, mostly. Tiz, you're doing it again. Oh, sorry. How about, uh, buttered rice porridge with mushrooms and wild vegetables? I picked a bunch of wild mushrooms and roots when we stopped for lunch the other day. I figured they'd go well with the buttered rice left over from yesterday. Buttered rice? From yesterday? That's right. I used the leftovers from Magnolia's dinner. Tell me, Tiz, do you have a philosophy de la cuisine? Huh? A philo what? A policy. Towards cooking, I mean. Do you have a particular approach? For example, you put lots of effort into presentation. I, I do? But everything is loaded with garlic, and he sticks to simple dressings like ketchup and brown sauce. <laughs> She's calling you a one-note cook. What? Come on, Magnolia. Pull some punches, would you? Idia, meanwhile, likes the extremes. Sweet things are super sweet. Spicy dishes get a quadruple dose of pepper. Yep, that's me. Food with a punch. She's not afraid to explore and experiment, which often results in total disasters. That sounds familiar. Remember her charcoal on the half shell? Uh, and the legendary soup of many colors? <laughs> this is a tent event that I must have missed. Look, you have to try new things if you want to improve as a cook. You're trying to improve? But I have to say... There's a certain je ne sais quoi about Tiz's food. It's tasty without being flashy, and it has real depth. It makes me wonder, just what is his philosophy? Where did he learn to cook? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't have a philosophy, and no one ever taught me, per se. I mean, I'm not a gourmet like Idia and you. I don't know about fancy ingredients and dishes. There must be something. Come on, don't be coy. Well, one thing I do believe in is not wasting food. Does that count? Like today, I used the boar meat we got and that extra blueberry jam for the roast. Then I had the idea to use up the leftovers from last night's dinner. We just happened to have the mushrooms and wild plants on hand to dress it up. Magnifique! Tiz, I think you have a wonderful approach to cuisine. It's nothing special. I just hate to see good food go to waste. Now that I think about it, you've never made a bad meal. Your dinners are always just right. Well, I'm not as adventurous as you. I stick with what I know, so I don't mess up all the time. Well, excuse me for trying to spice things up from time to time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I made a totally unadventurous dessert, too. Sweet roasted chestnuts. What? Well, why didn't you say so earlier? Bring it out already! You really are the best, sir. 
See, if it was me who was cooking, they would just be eating, like, penne every night or something like that. Because I am very boring when it comes to making food. I like my pasta. What do you want? I'm part Italian. Let's see. Let's get out of here. And where am I going? Alright, that side quest is finally finished up. I can board the airship, and it's on with the main plot. Let's see. By the way, I do want to go and have a look at Fort Loon. Because I did uh, receive a couple of new balls. Okay, so we've been reduced from level 61 to 55. And, um, oh, there's, uh, these, like, friend bot things as well. I should probably... Let's see, change. Let's throw that one in. Whoa. 500 damage firepower thing? It's ridiculous. Um, okay. Five, did I read that right? 500 firepower? Anyway, I'll worry about that later. And let's go over to this side of the world map. And um, see what I have to do. This is the north of Caldisla. This is like Lantano Villa or something. Right, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Come on. Also, it appears that the giant hole in Narende is still there. Which I could have sworn we fixed in the last game. Like, we were supposed to have filled you in. There is supposed to be like trees and stuff growing there now. Of course, given the uh, the developers think of everything rule, we're probably going to be returning to that hole in the ground. Anyway, into Lantano Villa. Let's see. I set foot in here earlier, but I pretty much stepped out immediately so that I could um like like uh, explore the uh, the party chat and stuff. No, not the. What am I talking about? The side quest. Party chat, side quest, same thing. Uh, this is cross potion. <clears throat> okay, I see I'm starting to uh, fall behind in terms of levels, so I may want to grind against balls or something a little bit. Um, I've been getting like two level ups out of the four party members per boss battle as of recently, which tells me that I probably could do to be a little bit stronger in terms of levels. That was a life ring. Um, like in the Brave Lee fight and uh, in the ball fights. I want to say I've been getting bomb arm. Uh, not bomb arms. I've been getting, on average, uh, two levels out of the four characters. We'll see, though. I'm probably not going to... I'm probably going to try to not spend a whole lot of time level grinding. Um, I may turn random encounters on and run around for a little while just so that I can see what's in here. But is that the adventurous hat already? Oh, that's just a treasure tray. I don't... How I confuse the two, I have no idea. We're done on this floor, though. Is there anything this way? Alright, this is a door that goes outside and a staircase that goes upstairs. I'm gonna take the staircase first, because if I recall, I had to go, like, outside around the, uh... Is this gonna go upstairs? Oh, this goes downstairs. If I recall, there was a... Like, a balcony outside that I had to go... What was that? That was some kind of gun. Items? New items? I still don't know what these two I got them. Oh, this uh, raises maximum MP, raises vitality, raises mind. Um, I got these off of the balls. And I'm not exactly sure what they do. I don't even know what kind of armor they count as. But, uh... Oh, they're not armor! I see I can use them. Maximum MP. Um, These are like vitamins from Pokemon. Alright. Vitality. Who's usually a magic attacker? I have a feeling you is going to do a lot of magic attacks. So I'll raise his vitality and uh, mind. Is that what vitality does? Can't remember what vitality does. Anyway, something about a GG carbine. All right. Good game. Or whatever you're supposed to stand for. Now, now we can go outside, though. Because I think I'm done in here. And uh, take a walk around... One side of this uh, fancy, awkwardly standing villa. And come in here. And... Have I been here before? The fog of war is filled in. Huh. Alright, well... I don't know about some of the other dungeons, but this is definitely the same layout as it was in the first game. I recognize this from all the times I had to run around fighting and refighting and re refighting side quest bosses and stuff. Um, actually, I don't think it is the same. 
Hmm. Well, as usual, I have no idea what I was talking about. That's an Aegis Shield. And let's go and uh, talk to the adventurer. I'm going to go and check out that Grand Marshal's staff real quick. But... Yeah, I'm going to check out the Grand